The default Minecraft launcher is terrible when it comes to playing modded Minecraft. It's a slow process and you have to handle everything manually, but with a different launcher you can manage and install mods with ease. I've covered other launchers like MultiMC and PolyMC in another video. But Prism Launcher offers the most features and is trusted among players. Check out my video on Minecraft launchers to learn more about what I recommend. But for this video, I'll show you how to set up, install, use, and customize the Prism Launcher. Prism Launcher is super lightweight, making it good for slow computers. It's highly customizable and offers features that many other launchers don't have. Installing mod packs and individual mods is a breeze and the launcher is safe, trusted in the community, and free as long as you own Minecraft. So let's install the launcher. Use the link in the video description to go to the Prism Launcher download page. The launcher is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, and even Steam Deck so pick whichever applies to you. For me, it's Windows 11 64-bit, so I click on the installer.exe. If you don't have the required redistributable, make sure to install it by clicking the hyperlink and running the downloaded file. Go to where your downloads are saved and run the Prism Launcher file. Click next, next again, and then install. You may change these settings, but I leave them as default. Finally, click finish. If you've used MultiMC before, you might be asked if you want to migrate your data. This is optional, but say yes if you want to migrate your data. Pick whichever language you prefer. If you don't have Java installed, click the link in the video description, which will take you to a website where you can select the version to download. For me, it's Windows X64 installer. Run this file, say yes, and click next twice, leaving the default settings. Click close when finished. Back in the launcher, click refresh at the bottom left. Your version should show up. Click on it. I'm going to choose version 17, which shows my file path here. At the bottom, you can choose how much RAM to allocate. I recommend allocating more than the default, but this is optional and depends on what mods you're using. I set mine to 8192 megabytes for maximum memory allocation, but don't worry too much, this can be changed later. Here's where you can customize the launcher. I personally choose simple blue icons, dark colors, and the Rory ID 11 cat icon. After clicking finish, you can now use the launcher. In the top right of the launcher, click accounts and then manage accounts. Select add Microsoft account, go to the web page provided, and type in the code given. Sign into your account and then close the window. Next, on the top row, click the cat symbol. Trust me, this is important. Now click add instance at the top left. Depending on what you want to play, choose accordingly. If you want to play a mod pack such as Dawncraft, click CurseForge and search for Dawncraft. Give the instance a name and assign a group if you'd like, or click OK. If you get a message saying blocked mods found, click Open Missing. This will download and install the required mods for you. If you want to play vanilla or custom modded, click Add Instance, select your game version, and choose a mod loader. Fabric is recommended if you're unsure what to choose here. The mod loader depends on what mods you use. Now name the instance and click OK. Select your instance and click Edit Settings. Under Memory, if you didn't change this earlier, you can now increase the RAM to your liking, but I typically never go above 8192 megabytes. In the same edit window, click the Mods tab and download mods at the top right. Search for the mods you want and install them. I'm going to use Modern's to install most of my mods, but you can use CurseForge if you prefer. Some mods may only show up on CurseForge, so if nothing comes up, switch the tab. Go to the Resource Packs tab and click Download Packs. I choose Default Dark Mode. For Shaders, go to the Shader Packs tab and download the Shader Packs the same way. Complimentary Reimagined is what I recommend, but ensure you have Iris installed for shaders. I recommend installing performance packs like Simply Optimized or Adrenaline. For Optifine features like a zoom or shaders, use the Additive pack. I always install one of these. Additive is one of my favorites. If you want to know more about these packs, check out my video on how to get the most FPS possible in Minecraft. From here, just install whatever additional mod, shaders, or resource packs you want on top of these packs. You can keep things organized by grouping instances via the Change Group button. Give it a name and assign your instances. Double click or click launch on one of your instances. If you receive an error, it's likely due to incompatible mods or missing dependencies. Read the error message to see what you are missing. For me, I need to install bclib for the better nether mod. If you want to move your instances to a different launcher or share them with friends, you can easily export and import them. Here's how. Select the instance you want to export, Click the export button. Click OK, then choose a location to save the exported file. It may take a minute to export depending on the size of the instance. Just let it do its thing. Then click add instance, then import. Select the zip file containing the exported instance. Once imported, the instance is ready to use. By following these steps, you can share your instances with friends or move them between different launchers. It's a convenient way to keep your favorite game settings accessible wherever you want to play. Your instances will have separate worlds, servers, and settings. So to keep them consistent, you can also copy 
copy your instance and then make additional changes. If you're interested in adding a personal touch to your instances, you can easily customize their icons. Here's how. Right click on the instance you want to customize, select change icon. From here, you can either choose one of the default icons available or add your own image by selecting the option to upload. It's a simple way to make your instances stand out and reflect your unique style or theme. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide on how to use the Prism Launcher for Minecraft. I've done my best to cover all the essential details, but if anything is unclear or if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Your feedback is vital and I'll do my best to respond. If you want to know how to play modded Minecraft with your friends, please check out my other video on how to do so. Have fun and happy modding! Meow.